Hey YouTube, this is Quaker from Next Gen Windows here to bring you another Windows 8 app review. Today's app review is MetroTube. MetroTube is a YouTube application. It's basically like the brother or sister of the famous Windows Phone uh, application of the same name. It's made by the developer Lazy Worm Applications. And here we check out the main screen right here. It's a pretty simple main screen. It's actually similar to the Windows Phone application in general. because. Uh, you know the uh, next say next gen windows if I signed in on my phone uh, it would be laid out kinda like this on the phone also but since this is the desktop we'll also since this is the metro application uh, we will check it out as it is here and no comparisons uh, here you start off seeing subscriptions and then your basic sign in menu and then you see popular and then if you scroll over you can see categories and then this plus symbol when we click on plus it allows us to add a search topic to uh, what we want to see in another bar. So we, if we want to add automobiles, you know, now we got an automobile section over here. If we want to remove the column, we can remove the column and then plus goes back. If we want to search for, say, um, Microsoft Illumiroom, we'll get a whole bunch of videos in this uh, list form here that is about the Illumi Room demo that they talked about and then if we hit exit we go back and it, the plus sign comes back to where it originally was now back to the left side uh, if you see you see subscriptions here and then you see my subscriptions that I've uh, subscribed to obviously and uh, you can see that uh, it's listed out in a pretty big box format because I think I'm thinking that these are like the top videos on my subscription feed or maybe just the latest two on um, that are the biggest and then the the later two later three are actually listed later on at least down here and then I'm making the least one um, the smallest as you can see here but when we click on it takes you into all of your subscriptions first because obviously it's the subscription tab and you can see all of your subscriptions here you can scroll through them or swipe through them doesn't matter which one you do and then if you want to go to your uploads you can do that so you can see your recent uploads I'm not sure why it's taking so long actually I'm not sure at all why it's taking so long it's, normally it does load but you can see your uploads if it, if, uh, it worked you would see them here and then if you want to go to channels, you can see this channel to the red line, and you can see you know how their theirs is listed out. It would be your uploads will be listed in this format right here, uh, from uh, recent to going across would be the least you know recent, and then down across would be the least recent, and so on. So that's how that would function. Also, you can do a search just by clicking search, and then you can search for whatever you wanted. Say if you're looking for a movie, um, say if you're looking for Superman. You know, you could do a search for that man, and Man of Steel obviously would be the recent one if you were to search it today, because the movie is coming out soon. Oh, my bad. And then also, if you wanted to, you know, take a look at other people's subscriptions, like other subscriptions that you have, you can click on them and go to them. So if you want to see, say, this subscription, he has no videos, uh, but if you wanted to see him, say, Locker Gnome, you could see them right here. And then also another cool thing that you can do is you can click this arrow here and it actually collapses the categories tab or whatever tab that you're looking for. So if you want to collapse the channels, you can click this and it collapses the channels. If you want to collapse all of them, you can collapse all of them. And then if we want to open this up again, we can do that. Click popular on YouTube and you can see it's listed in the same grid format. Nice, very laid out nicely. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to click on a video. Let's see something like... Uh, Let's see uh, some of my recently watched ones. So let's let's see how about Curiosity, what's inside the cube? Okay, I won't let it play right now, but you can see how it's laid out when you're uh, when you started clicking on a video. The video is laid out on this side. If you had any comments, it'd be laid over here. And if you were to be able to add a comment, you could you know type out a comment here, and it'd be listed here. Unfortunately, this person probably blocked their comments, so that's why you don't see any, because I'm pretty sure there would be comments on this game, The Curiosity. Uh, also, if you want to see related videos, here are all the related videos to this video, um, at least what YouTube thinks would be the related videos. And then you can see channel videos, 
so you can view all of their channel videos all right here listed in order from recent to uh, you know least recent and then now if we play the video so you can see right here when we play the video let's go full screen you click this button right here to go full screen if you play the video you can see the title is right here you gotta look closely since this is a white video and then you can see the uh, progress bar it shows you how long the video is and uh, also it shows you where you are in the video so if you hit play you can see so you can see this is the length the video is and this is uh, you know how far you're into it so I was only eight seconds into it some vi some applications that I have seen they you know they show you how much you have left not how long the video is so the one thing I gotta say about this also you can favorite the video just by clicking this I mean subscribe to the channel just by clicking this and one thing that I don't like about this is that you know you see a lot of white space over here like uh, I know that they were trying to it's trying to look clean and everything but you see a lot of space over here and I don't know since I'm not a developer I don't exactly know what they could put over here but it just has a lot of space over here and it seems like something should go there because even if I if I was to put my hand on my screen I have about a 23 inch screen my hand could you know spread out it could fill up that entire area plenty but in general uh, it is a good application I would still personally say my favorite YouTube application would be YouTube RT because when you go back on YouTube RT to the main screen you can easily uh, you know you can still see your video playing in this tiny corner over here so you're always you know upfront knowing what your video what video you're watching so then again let's let's go to say this uh, epic mealtime video here you can see the comments and everything like that and then here you can see this the description along with the comments underneath it and then here you can comment if you felt like it and then if you like the channel you can subscribe you can see how subscribe looks like on uh, this because I've already subscribed to them and then when we go back you can see you're back to this main screen now I will tell you that when you click on any of these tabs it still lists it in a similar way that you saw here as you can see listed in the same way you're not looking at anything different except for different videos because you're clicking on categories but all in all I think it is a pretty good application uh, it's simple especially if you came from using the Windows phone application and you want a similar experience I would definitely definitely recommend you picking up this application because this application is a really good YouTube app and it was free too so uh, it's another plus so go check it out on the Windows 8 store. Uh, you can check it out by just searching for Metro Tube and make sure you find this exact same logo over here. This has been Quaker from Next Gen Windows, and I'll catch you guys later. Oh yeah, and also one thing, I forgot to show you guys the snap view. So here's here's what it looks like when you snap the uh, video. So when you snap the application, you can see how it looks like it's listed up and down and you can see your categories still and you can still uh, add more categories and stuff like that so list it's listed out pretty nicely this one you'd have to hover over to see what you're looking for if you're new to the application uh, but in general uh, it's, it's a really good layout it's, it works really well we can click on on the verge and I can show you guys how it looks like when you're in a video you can see right here you still see the subscription sees it shows it right there and then also you see the comments right there in the order and then on top of that when you click on the video you can see that's how the video runs you still see all the comments and everything it doesn't just show the video by itself in the center right here and with no, nothing else around it like it's all black they don't do it that way uh, so that's one thing I like about this application over YouTube RT is that YouTube RT just kind of moves the video to the center and then it just blacks out everything else so that you're just seeing the video that could be you know app you, that could be breaking for some people because some people just like to focus on one thing and not look at all the other things going on but personal preference that's what I see and that's what I uh, like about it but finally this has been Quaker from next gen windows and I'll catch you guys later peace